Now, I'm having a bit of a head scratcher here because I'm not sure which one to take with me. You see, I have two, well, actually I have a few different camping mats. I have quite a few actually. Um, but the two that I'm looking at taking with me, because I don't know what the weather's going to be like in Normandy at this time of year. I have an idea, but I'm not sure how I will cope with temperature wise. Now the bag I'm taking is my Lomo, my which is this. Now, 40 litres doesn't seem that much. I mean, that's 40 litres. And what's already inside this bag is my, I mean, you can see the size there. What's already in this bag is in there. I have a one season sleeping bag. I have a pillow. I have my two man tent plus the gear store that goes on the front of that tent and I have a mallet. That's what's inside this bag. Now I have a two season sleeping bag there, but I don't know, I think that's gonna be a bit too much. And then of course I have these two different beds. So I have the Coleman, which is a, it's a small compact single bed. And I would obviously have to take this little thing here with me just to pump it up, because I can't be asked to blow it. I have, I mean that's that's light as a feather that. That's um, just aluminium foil which is basically to bump up the temperature and of course then I have this one which is just an ultralight sleeping pad. So at the moment I'm debating whether I take those two or I take that. I mean there's no So those, those would be lighter, that would be a lot more comfortable. Um, we'll put them up and we'll see. Now as you can see this comes quite compact already. So you've got a 1L valve there, so just throw this out like so. Open them up, God, this is a difficult one hand here got that nice finish on there all right and what we're going to pump up with this is we're just going to use this little inflator it's also a torch so but we're going to pump that up so as you can see this is all laid out this is the little pump here and we go into that okay turn it this way So this is an option I could take with me, see how long it takes it to pump it. The thing is once this is pumped up it will stay pumped up, I mean I might lose a little bit of air depending on the temperature, which I can just again just use this to add a bit of air in. Okay, so that's taken about a minute to pump up. Okay, so that takes a minute. Give you an idea. I mean, this is a king size bed, this. So, and this is basically my, this would be a single mat. And as you can see there, you know, you've got some good padding on this. 
and I have slept on it, it is very comfortable. So that's one option. That'll keep me off the ground, so it'll keep me a lot warmer. But then the other option is this. Now I know that this works. You will not lose heat. I mean that that's like that is literally there's nothing to that. It is like a feather. This I could take with this. And I think I'd be fine for the temperature. So we're going to put these up now and compare them. So this is the alumin, alum, aluminum, bleh, try and get the word out. This is the aluminum um, foil, which basically is just going to stop heat from going through and can reflect it back on yourself. I mean, you can see that there. It is very, very lightweight. It literally floats on the air. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to pop this on top and we're going to see what it's like. Now, this one is in fact actually it's a lot longer. So, it's not going to flip. So this one is actually longer than this one. So we're going to have a look now. It's got the same little plug. So again, I'm going to use this just to fill her up. This literally takes seconds, this one, to fill up. Okay, so that's pretty much full now. Now you see, this is why I always check my gear before I go away, and any new stuff I always definitely check, because I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't want to buy something new, take it away with me, and find out that it doesn't work, and it's a piece of crap, and I end up throwing it in the bin, like I did for a, with a sleeping cot, which kept falling down on me every night I slept in it. The two centre legs would collapse, and I'd have a bad back. So as you can see from here, if I show you now, it's not worked out how I was hoping. <coughs> so this one interested me for the fact that it had the hexicone. So it's designed to keep more warmth. It's got two separate valves on this, but it's supposed to be a flap inside there. So when you're blowing it up, the flap is supposed to spring back on it. The way they've designed it, it's crap. The flap doesn't strip back, so you can never get a full amount of air in there. I mean, you look at that. If I lay on that, my back's going to be killing me. If I lay on that, my back is going to be fine. So, sorry to say, this was a waste of about 20 something quid. Where this cost me 26 quid, and I've used it before, camping with the family. So, if anyone's looking at buying one of these, these hike, hike Ensure, or whatever it is. Even the pillow, you see the pillow there. I mean, that's it's crap. Put my head there, my head's going to be hitting the ground, and these are going to be inflating either side of my head. Again, there's supposed to be a flap. And if I open this up and show you, so that's open, there's a flap there, but it's not actually closing. It's not it's supposed to fully close, but as you can see, there's a gap. You see that? That there, that black flap is supposed to sit flat against it, but it doesn't. So no, no air is being trapped inside this. Look, right now that flap should not release any air. That's how it's supposed to be. But look how much air has just been pushed out and what's left. Ridiculous. So I think I'll be taking this away with me. Because on this one, if I pull the cap, look at that, no air escaping. That's how it's designed. What you do is push down, because this just comes up, so. See? So I'll be taking my Coleman mat with me this time round. That one won't be coming with me. That'll probably be going in the bin. <laughs> 